you know, y'all, it's always going to be some time before you see me again. But, you know, it's just how it happens. There can never be a time where I just go back to back uploads and never like take like a day or two days or whatever to upload again. It's just never going to happen. Either way, that doesn't really matter. Thank you guys for all your continued support on the channel. It's very much appreciated. And today we're going to be going back to something that I like to do a lot. Now, recently I've been doing a bunch of video game and a lot of, you know, like video game battles and whatnot that a lot of people are very like, you know, controversial and like a lot. Well, now I'm going to be going back to something that I like as well as anime and we're just going to be doing a nice little anime versus battle for once. Today I'm going to be doing Hiei versus Sasuke. This is one of the more known verses and, you know, one of the more controversial ones as well as there are a lot of people that think Hiei win, but there are a lot of people who think Sasuke win. Considering the fact that uh, I kind of might be doing this for a while, I just kind of want to get right into the video. If you do enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe. Subscribe if you do enjoy the video and uh, let's get into this right now. Okay. Now, if you guys don't know how I do my videos, I do them in three sections. One section where I cover the main character, then I cover the second character, and then I discuss who wins at the end. So let's get into that right now. Hiei is one of the main characters in Yu Yu Hakusho. Due to being born from the union of an ice maiden and a fire demon, he was outcast and thrown over a mountain. After surviving, he was discovered and raised by a gang of bandits who later rejected him due to using the tear stone to uh, attract enemies to kill. After losing the stone and fighting a demon, he went to acquire the ja Jagan Eye from Shigura, who also taught him in the art of swordsmanship. Since the implant caused his power to drop considerably, Due to his eye, he reached the ice village and found out about of the existence of his twin sister, Yukina. He then traveled everywhere in order to find her, and his search led him to the human realm where he met Yusuke Urameshi. Now, with that being said, we cannot get into Hiei's powers, ability, and all his scaling and whatnot. When looking at Hiei, he has a lot of different things he can do, such as being able to have soul manipulation. He was able to... Anyone cut by the conjuring blade is cursed and turned into a demon. Poison is also spread into their bodies. Telekinesis and flight exercise both of these powers in his transformed states and whatnot. He also has poison manipulation, curse manipulation. EA implies here that those that look at the jagged eye would go insane. He erased part of a human's memory so they did remember their experience in a demon world, so on and so forth. But when looking at DA, uh, looking at Hiei and all his power, he has a lot of it. So we're going to get into his AP. He at his most basic attack potency was city block level. Um, with ease, was implied to be stronger than Baika, who performed a feat that was calculated to this potency. Then we have multi-city block level with his transformation. At least multi-city block level. The force of his flames had grown several times stronger before his fight with Boo. Small city level with a dragon. Of the darkness flame, the darkness flame performed a feat of this potency, and he goes on to absorb its power for his own small city level because he still made a Yusuke in the chapter Black Art. The Yusuke physically overpowered 100% Togiro and fired a full power uh, um, spirit gun that forced 100% of 1% Togiro to go fully on the defensive to just barely survive it. It, and die soon after. Younger Tagoro was an upper B class demon and should be stronger than Hiei's previous key, in which he is a middle B class, higher with the Dragon of the Darkness Flame. Then he chose to at least bring city level because he regained his A class power for witnessing Sensui kill Yusuke, making him far stronger than younger Tagoro, higher with the Dragon of the Darkness Flame, of course. Then we can say he's at least planet level because he was about equal to Yusuke prior to the Demon World Unification Tournament, making him an S-Class Demon before Yusuke even trained his S-Class power. Yusuke matched blows with defensive armor Sensui and matched blows with offensive armor Sensui. Shinobu uh, Hokyo is so powerful that it's implied he could destroy the world had he not held back. Higher with the Dragon of Darkness Flame, of course. He had his most highest interpretation of attack potency is planet level. Now we can get into his speed. He is at earliest the FTL levels, which is faster than light. Early on in his transformed state, he dodged a um, spirit gun. He later grew more powerful and in base. He cut Siryu 16 times and Blitz Core Barbara and Yusuke higher with his transformation. His fighting ability increases several times over when he transforms. Uh, faster than light higher. 
from absorbing the Dragon of Darkness Flame, he gets an explosive increase to his aura when he absorbs the Black Dragon. Still FDL because he fought evenly with Yusuke and saved him from a truck that was being controlled by Kanama Hagira, blitzing both of them in the process. Then we can say FDL higher from absorbing the Dragon Darkness Flame. Bastion Light estimated that he would fight about evenly with Yusuke before the Demon World Unification Tournament and Yusuke had been training to have better uses of his new powers as a demon. Higher from absorbing the Dragon of the Darkness Flame. So yeah, he even though he keeps getting higher in the faster than light tier, he never actually crosses over to MFTL plus speed. So I would just say that he a speed is FTL. Now we can get into that of Sasuke speed and attack potency and everything Sasuke can do. Sasuke Uchiha is one of the last surviving members of Kanagakura's Uchiha clan. After his older brother Itachi slaughtered their clan, Sasuke made it his mission in life to avenge them by killing Itachi. He is added to Team 7 upon becoming a ninja, and through competition with his rival and best friend Naruto Uzumaki, Sasuke starts developing his skills. Dissatisfied with his progress, he defects from Konoha so that he can acquire the strength needed to exact his revenge. After learning the truth of his brother's sacrifice, and later proving instrumental in ending the fourth shinobi world war and being happily redeemed by Naruto, Sasuke decides to return to Kanaha and dedicates his life to help protect the village and its inhabitants, becoming referred to as the Shadow Hokage. Now, when looking at Sasuke, there isn't much to talk about, but there is some things we need to talk about. Let's so just him having superhuman strength, uh, shinobi physiology, fire manipulation, breath attack, electric electricity manipulation. Uh, master in uh, shuriken jutsu and taijutsu explosive manipulation with explosive tags uh, but what really makes sasuke known is his sharing gun gives him enhanced sight the sharing gun provides its user within an incredible uh clarity of perception this allows the user to easily keep track of fast moving targets with astonishing clarity this clarity of vision also allows the user to easily perceive and decipher hand seals at great speeds, read lips, and perceive pencil movements in order to mimic them. The Sharingan can also see chakra as different colors, even through certain solid objects, and even can and even perceive invisible individuals and entities. The Sharingan also allows its user to focus their vision and act like a microscope, allowing it to see objects on a cellular level and clearly perceive viruses. Um, analytic prediction information analysis and power mimicry um and also the ne their next moves empowerment the sharing gun is awakened and evolved through the awakening and development of the user negative emotions such as hate grief or disappointment uh sharing gun gen genjitsu can also paralyze the victim sleep inducement you know those things we all know fear manipulation pain manipulation demonic illusion uh resistance to illusion creation perception manipulation mind manipulation so on and so forth he would then later gain the Mangekyo Sharingan, which uh, with Amaterasu and Inten, the user spawns inextinguishable black flames on their target. As long as it's in their line of sight, the flame gives off incredible heat, which have been described to be as hot as the sun, are capable of instantly vaporizing steel and are capable of burning the flame-proof innards of a rock toad. So yeah, Amaterasu is a uh, yeah, very um, strong um, power-up to say the least. Um, by far way stronger than most people want to admit way stronger and then we have Sasuke's Renegon which gives him enhanced senses the Renegon is capable of perceiving chakra and its flow within the body is also capable of perceiving invisible barriers and can even see the invisible limbo clones which um, reside in a different dimension are normally impossible to perceive uh they also the black receivers can paralyze and hinder the movements of whoever they pierce and they can also control their movements uh they can also transfer thoughts and experience to each other perfectly coordinate their movements and share their fields of vision and to be completely honest with you it also allows you to do things like shinra tensei and so on and so forth with that being said it can also do portal creation and dimensional travel teleportation power notification uh resurrection healing and so on and so forth now we can move into something along the lines of talking about Sasuke's attack potency, which I'm going to be taking all the way up to like earlier, like Shippuden levels. So we can immediately say that like Sasuke's original scaling was like multi-continental level with Susano. His Susano is comparable to Kurama's avatar state, varies from large planet level up to it at most star level. Gain half of Hongaromo's chakra comparable to six past Naruto, although he was shown to be weaker scales to Kaguya post um, ETSO. 
Far higher with Six Pass Susano absorbed the chakra from all the tail beats and clash with Naruto's Asura mode. Then we can say Lord Star Level claims to be strong enough to fight Kaguya by himself, a period to the last Naruto. Far higher with Susano. Lord Star Level, more interpretation for it because equal to Naruto, fought evenly against Hinshiki Otsuki, while not even near his full over comparable to fuse Momoshiki, or only at uh, half power can fight Jigen. Far higher with Suzuno, likely large planet level, should be at least comparable to his teenage uh, state, as he is still viewed as a threat to the Osukis. Should be comparable to base Naruto higher with Shidori. The story is stronger than his regular attacks, comparable to Naruto's Rasengan, although weaker, possibly higher. With Suzuno, he should still have access to Suzuno since he has EMS, but it's still unknown. Now, with that being said, we can get into like you know Sasuke speed. So at the highest interpretation, we can say like it's massively FTL faster than the last Naruto, massively FTL plus equal to the six past Naruto, over 20 times faster than light, upscaling from uh, Naruto with higher reactions can perceive objects and people moving faster than himself. We can argue that he has infinite perception speed, can see during stop time, but cannot move in it. At least massively FTL plus likely compared to the base Naruto, possibly higher. So massively FTL is Sasuke's speed. But that being said, we can now actually talk about who would actually win the fight, and we can get into that section right now. Okay, so when looking at like Sasuke and Hiei going up against each other, uh, we can make a couple of arguments. Like the first argument is like, could Sasuke survive the Darkness Flame, or could like Hiei even get past the Suzano, which is supposed to have perfect defense, so on and so forth. Well, if you ask me, looking at like the most simplest of things, they're pretty much even in pretty much every statistic. They're pretty much even in terms of power. Like they're pretty much even. But could like Sasuke speed blitz him? Could he survive like the Amaterasu? Like could he survive these things? Probably not gonna survive these things. Now, considering he has the power of the Darkest Flame, I'm pretty sure it gives him some resistance to something similar to it, such as the Amaterasu, but that's just like a head cannon. And that's assuming that we use like, like verse equalization. So if we're taking like the most basic interpretations, I think Hiei would have a hard time getting around the Susano. And I think that would just be one of the many reasons why he loses. This is not including that Sasuke could just, you know, yank his like soul or just kill him pretty much with like his Shidori because he could technically speed blitz him as he is faster than him but not that much faster where it's like I'm saying yeah okay he is just gonna get blitzed there's nothing he can do and so on and so forth so I definitely don't think that's what's happening here but I definitely think Sasuke just has an advantage in speed and I think that would give him enough advantage especially when he can perceive attacks at infinite levels of speed I just think Sasuke wins this especially when I seriously still don't see a way or anyway, honestly, that he would ever be able to get past the Susano. Now, if you guys disagree with me, you guys have a reason for why you think he has wins more times out of 10 than I would like to know. But as far as I can see here, it looks like he would lose more to Sasuke. At least that's what I think, because the Susano is just superior. The scaling goes on Sasuke's side, and they're about even in power. Oh, I think Sasuke is still slightly stronger. And so, yeah, with that being said, I think the winner is Sasuke Uchiha of the Uchiha clan from Naruto. So, yeah. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. Um, hit the red subscribe button if you enjoyed. And, um, yeah, uh, Sasuke wins and um, I'm out.